So it's day two after being back from Pike's Peak, and I'm already restless. Um, after seeing, you know, being a part of the teams and all that, I think I helped four different cars get to the summit, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to sit another year out, so next year I'm going to try to get an NV together, and uh, let alone the Civic, but the NV it's for someone else to drive. So I already started working on a project uh, because I have this NV8 coming up as well. Uh, so kind of practicing and honing in and make sure I have all the materials in stock for all that. First up, control arms. These machine bearing cups are from Palatov, Palatov Motorsport. Uh, you can get them through them. They're quite affordable and they allow for easy control arm production. Give you a nice flanged face in order to weld and all that. Um, there will be additional gussets and such here, but I'm not going to do that yet. We'll wait until we get, uh, get it on the chassis and figure out what we're doing exactly. So my goal for uh, today is to get all of the, the main control arms built, uh, at least tacked together and welded to the bearing cup. Additional bracing will be done on the car. So I'm uh, cutting the rear control arm, measuring the rear control arms now. And right to the edge of that is... Twenty-one and a half, which I believe that's what this is. This is a random leftover from the last thing I cut. Oh, I love it. Sometimes things are just right in the universe. So at this point, I have simply mocked up the I cut the tube into the rod end, which these are mock-up rod ends. Uh, they didn't have any in stock. I get them Friday, so I wanted to get these done today. So I had them mocked up. I simply traced the shape, did a rough cut at an angle, and now I'm going to make it fit with the flapper wheel. More off the inside. key with this is just do a little bit at a time because the second you take a big hog out of it you're going to be a quarter inch gap.
pretty much uh, perfect as far as gap. So we're good to go. What I'll do is I'll single tack those straight, weld it, let it cool off, and then I'll swap out and do the other one. So those are the front lowers. I have them labeled because they're actually really close to being the same. They're important because caster, we need a lot more caster in the front. Otherwise, they would almost swap front to rear. They could in a pinch, I guess. I got these ground to fit, and I'm gonna buzz them up real quick. With one of the front lower control arms. We go weld it up and I'm gonna do the uppers and here's the front upper uh, we partnered with Aurora bearings on the NV8 projects so you can see uh, finally received these they're really nice from the chassis shop slip right in you weld them done simple also converted all those while the V's on Let's see if I can get it focused there we go so pretty good and then ooh suspension So I made sure they fit. It's the first time that the car has been built from jigs and not the other way around. Uh, the first one I built by freehand and then built jigs from those. And here is what works uh, from the jigs. So it all works backwards and forwards and always. It's fantastic. So obviously don't have the tow links yet. But um, Palatov will get those over shortly. So it's pretty exciting. So I did high, uh, I did the, technically they're safety washers, but I used them for additional clearance so we get more movement. Um, the first car, the NV8 number one, only had about five inches of vertical. And this has at least double that, so it gives us a lot more adjustment before we run into hind bind. Yes, we could flip them, we could flip the, the inners vertical and run them that way, but this is easier to set up. So the next episodes are going to be putting all this stuff together, uh, mainly because we have to measure the width and then 
see the difference between the Zen V8 width as far as body work and then we have to work backwards because we're only allowed to go 350 millimeters wider total than the stock body work on the Zen V8 and I'm pretty sure uh, these the NV8 front is about 82 inches wide, which is about seven inches too wide total. So we have to reverse engineer things, go backwards, more or less shorten the control arms by X amount, roughly three and a half inches. But we need to know exactly how much we need to shorten them from the total assembled width of this. So that's why the push to get this going, so I can get going on this NV8 and pay some bills. So lots of uh, exciting videos coming up soon. Stay tuned, ask any questions, etc, etc.